How wonderful person, this is Anton, and today we're going to discuss a relatively new discovery of something astrophysicists have been looking for for a very long time. Here we're talking about what seems to be a very unusual binary system involving two supermassive black holes, but in this case orbiting very close to one another, with the orbit that would be very difficult to explain using modern physics. But all of this was actually based on very unusual observations that took approximately three years to explain. And so let's discuss these observations and the results in more detail, starting with exactly why this was a mystery back in 2021. And here this is based on observations from March of 2021 by the famous Zwicky Transient Facility, an automated facility in California that's able to detect minute changes in brightness in order to discover transients. So things like, for example, supernova or sudden explosions somewhere out there produced by various astrophysical events. And it actually got so good at detecting these events that in just the last five years, we've already discussed several major mysteries with many still unresolved. You can find out about some of them in previous videos in the description. But in March of 2021, it once again discovered an unusual brightening, or basically an unusual flare that at first appeared to be some kind of a supernova. And that's until 2022. In 2022, additional observations revealed another transient or another flare from the exactly same location but possibly even brighter than before. And to everyone's surprise, it was then detected again and again. As a matter of fact, the last one was just a few months back. And that, of course, was a huge mystery. It was kind of difficult to explain. Mostly because since the first flare, all of these additional outbursts seemed to happen between 60 to 90 days apart. So basically, it wasn't like something was orbiting here, because then these events would be much more regular. Or if it was orbiting, it was doing so in a very strange way. And while at first, one of the additional explanations suggested that this is maybe what's known as a tidal disruption event, or in essence, disruption of a star by some kind of a massive black hole that usually does produce very similar flares, and in some cases, because here the material still orbits around the black hole, it might even happen more than once. But because in this case, these flares still had very unusual periodicity, even that explanation was basically not really a match. And so it took approximately three years to finally figure out what's happening. And in this case, it involved a multidisciplinary team and the use of additional tools such as artificial intelligence. And so here in this study by Hernandez Garcia and a large international team, they finally realized that the only explanation that kind of makes sense here is if this is a binary black hole system with two really massive black holes in an extremely tight orbit, disrupting some kind of a gas cloud once in a while. With all of this discovered and confirmed by using additional observations using Swift Telescope, which allowed them to observe everything in the ultraviolet light and also X-rays. But before they actually came to this conclusion, they had a lot of potential explanations. For example, maybe this was just a typical black hole activity from some kind of an active central black hole, and maybe this could actually explain how a lot of active galaxies interact and grow based on the activity of the black hole, especially when this black hole is feeding. But none of these typical explanations, so basically a star approaching a black hole or a black hole feeding on a lot of gas, were able to match the observations or fit the predictions. So basically here, this just did not make a lot of sense. However, once they realized that this could be two black holes, things started to make a little bit more sense, because here a binary orbit would actually produce very unique and very specific disruptions. And here the simulation kind of demonstrating what they believe is happening. And so technically this is a tidal disruption, but in this case it's not a star, but a really large gas cloud, huge and massive in size, and essentially orbiting around both black holes in the way you see right here. And when this cloud initially encountered the black holes, it was extremely likely completely ripped apart, eventually forming various filaments, which then started to produce huge amounts of heat through the process of friction. And so as a lot of this gas got really close to the black holes, it would produce certain emissions, but because this is a binary system, it creates additional complex interactions visible with every single orbit. And that's actually the interactions we seem to be seeing in both the Swift telescope and the ZTF facility. And so the only thing that makes sense here is basically a large cloud that seems to have completely engulfed the black holes, making them form very bizarre shapes around each other, while also consuming gas actively and producing a bizarre oscillating pattern that's visible in the data. And the only black hole system that would make sense here is if we actually have two black holes roughly around 26 billion kilometers apart, or approximately one light day apart, 
both somewhat similar to each other, and 40 million solar masses in mass if combined. So basically here we have two massive black holes, more massive than the one in the center of our own galaxy, completing each orbit in approximately 130 days. And well, technically this is the first such system we've ever seen, assuming that it's actually confirmed. The first tight supermassive black hole binary, where the black holes are expected to eventually emerge in approximately 70,000 years. And this is an exciting discovery for another important reason, the paradox known as the final parsec problem. You can learn about this in one of the videos in the description, but in essence, when it comes to supermassive black holes, and specifically merging supermassive black holes, there's a bit of an astrophysical paradox. We basically have no idea how they can possibly collide. So we know that galaxies do collide, and we expect central black holes in those galaxies to start coming closer together, eventually approaching really close distances, but when simulated, or when we basically crunch the numbers, in every single case, these orbiting black holes basically get stuck around each other at a distance of just over 3 light years, or approximately 1 parsec. And that's because initially, two black holes can come closer and closer, as they start absorbing a lot of mass from the galaxy itself, and as they slowly decelerate, lowering their orbits. But eventually, at a certain distance, there's just not going to be any mass left between them, and there's not enough gravitational waves produced yet for them to basically come any closer. And so in every single computer simulation, two supermassive black holes always seem to get stuck and even stabilize their orbits at a distance of one parsec. And to date, this has been kind of difficult to explain. Moreover, up until recently, there was not even a single shred of evidence when it comes to discovering black holes at much closer distances. We've seen systems with black holes at much farther distances, in hundreds or thousands of light years, but not once with black holes at a much closer distance. Once again confirming that maybe there was a bit of a paradox, and maybe these systems were physically impossible. But a few years back, researchers discovered a system known as PKS 1302-102. Here, this was a quasar 3.5 billion light years away from us, whose unusual light curve was basically sinusoidal, suggesting some kind of an orbit of approximately 1900 days, and suggesting a supermassive black hole binary. And so for the past few years, this was the only known candidate, the only possible system where these two black holes were at much closer distances, basically somehow overcoming this final parsec problem. But assuming that this study is correct, looks like the galaxy in the northern constellation Cygnus, at 1 billion light years away from us, potentially contains two black holes even closer to each other, and that are going to merge much sooner, 70,000 years. And because in this case it also involves a galaxy that seems to be going through some kind of a galactic collision, this would only make sense. It basically presents us with the first opportunity to solve this bizarre paradox, or to basically find out how black holes overcome this unusual final parsec problem, and how they eventually merge. And intriguingly, just a few months ago, there was a potential explanation, in this case involving the mysterious dark matter. This is from a separate paper you can find in the description, but here the idea was to solve this problem through the introduction of dark matter of a very specific type, the one we've discussed previously in one of the videos in the description, and the one the scientists refer to as fuzzy dark matter, or basically dark matter made of things like for example axions that could be extremely low in mass to the point where it actually starts to act more like a wave instead of a particle. And so by using this fuzzy dark matter model, in this study researchers were able to calculate exactly how black holes overcome this problem, essentially solving two problems at once, assuming of course it's correct. So here it solves the final parsec problem and also explains what dark matter technically could be. And it's of course galaxies like this one that are probably hiding all of the necessary answers to solve these mysteries once and for all. And so basically here we potentially discovered a galaxy that could maybe explain dark matter, explain the final parsec problem, and help us understand how supermassive black holes grow and influence galaxies. Because as of right now, just like the famous three-body problem that doesn't actually have any general analytical solutions, unfortunately for black holes, when it comes to modern theories involving gravity, there is really no solution for the two-body problem involving two supermassive black holes. But only future observations and additional discoveries will be able to answer these questions. At least for now this is just one explanation, although I guess the best explanation, and we're probably not going to know more for at least a few more months. Until then, check out previous videos in the description 
Thank you for watching, subscribe, share this with someone who loves rainbow space and sciences, come back tomorrow to learn something else, support this channel on Patreon by joining channel membership or by buying the wonderful person t-shirt you can find in the description. Stay wonderful, I'll see you tomorrow, and as always, bye bye.